our professional organizer, as you know. And today, she brings us her words of wisdom when we're trying to sell our house and get packed to move. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Angie. Well, uh, there are lots of things to know, and I, you know, as, as a person who has sold a house or two in my life, I, I really leaned on the advice of the experts because the things I thought were important about getting the house ready to sell really weren't the priorities to, for the person who's looking at the house. So what's your advice about getting it on the market, getting it ready to go? Well, first of all, our market here is hot, hot, hot. It it's is. kind of crazy. Houses are selling super fast, so the more decluttered and organized and updated your house is, the faster it's going to sell. It's really, really important that you clear out the space, make the space look larger and organized. I mean, the more organized it is, the more it looks like you've really cared for your home and you've kind of got it all together, makes the buyer more confident in the whole process that it's going to close on time. Well, I know one of the things we've talked about before, and it is worth mentioning again, is that we all make our homes so personal. So if we have collections of whatever it may be, Beanie Babies, you name it, family pictures on the wall, maybe yes. trophies, certificates, what's your advice about those highly personal items? Pack them up. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, declutter anything you can possibly, stuff that you don't want, that you're not going to take with you to the next place. Things that are broken, ruined, you just kind of got used to seeing that stain on the chair, that kind of stuff. Take care of it, get rid of it. And then as far as personalization goes, you need to stage your home as if it's a product to sell. It is no longer your space. When you put it on the market, you're trying to market it so someone else can envision themselves in your home. If all they look around and see is your Beanie Babies, your a uh, doll collection and all of your family photos it's distracting them from actually seeing your home and seeing the features of your home well so you we get make sure you pack that stuff if you're going to move it just pack it now well let's talk about packing then how do we get packed to move that's just so overwhelming sometimes yes pack to move so first of all when you're getting ready to stage your house start packing the stuff that you use the least frequently so for example it's um, April, I almost said it's March. <laughs> it's <laughs> April. If you're getting ready to put your house on the market, you're probably going to move before we roll back around fall and Christmas time. So pack up your off season decorations, your winter clothing, the things that you're not going to be using until after the move. Pack them up, get them out of your closets, out of the attic now, and just get it ready to go so that it's out of the way. So start there, start if you have extra spare bedrooms and you have stuff stored in closets, under the bed, in dressers in those rooms, great place to start. Well, Amy, I'll work your way back, sorry, work your way back towards the day to days, the stuff that you use every single day. Well, it all makes sense. And so, I, I mean, I, I think it's always good when you have hard time decluttering, it's really a challenge to downsize. That's why we call you. So let everybody know how they can get in touch with you, Amy. They can give us a call at 812-858-2457, or you can go on our website. It's lastingorder.net. Amy Payne will get you moving. Thank you, girl. Thanks, Angie. More Lifestyles right after this day.